Hi everyone. In uh, today's video, I will take up a new question in the topic of principles of navigation. And in this question, we will learn how to find the SHA of the moon if the moon's LHA is given and the observer's longitude is given together with the GHA Aries. So there are some few terms and concepts thrown around and it's important that we understand the relationship between each. Because if we know some of these uh, concepts or some of these terms, we can find out the value of the other term. So let's get started without much delay. So you'll have to uh, watch this uh, question carefully because I'll be drawing the question before I start solving the question. So the question is in longitude 35 degrees west, the moon's LHA was 335 when GHA Aries was 263. You have to find the SHA of the moon. Alright, so as I start drawing these values, I will also explain the definition of each of these terms so that you can understand uh, what these terms mean. So it's important that you approach each of these questions by drawing these questions because it will help you to um, understand what is happening in this question. Alright, so uh, just draw the ones which are given to you first and then use um, the knowledge of the other terms to understand how to calculate what is not given to you. So the first thing I will draw is the GHA Aries. So GHA Aries is given to us. You can draw any of the one. You can start with any, but ideally start with GHA Aries uh, here. So what is GHA Aries? So what I will do is draw a circle. This is the celestial sphere. And I will draw a line which is called the celestial Greenwich Meridian. Now this is the celestial Greenwich Meridian, not the Greenwich Meridian on Earth's surface, which is 000 longitude. This is the celestial Greenwich Meridian. Now GHA Aries, GHA Aries is given to me as 263 degrees. Alright, so what is it? This is the angle measured westward. So what is westward? Westward is my left side and east is my right side. So if I have to measure westward GHA Aries, I am assuming that each of these quadrants is about 90 degrees. Right, each of these quadrants is 90 degrees. 90 here, 180 here, 270 here, like that. So if my GHA Aries is 263 and I have to measure it westwards, I will go westwards. Somewhere here will be my Aries. This is my Aries, GHA Aries. So a GHA Aries is the angle contained between the celestial meridian of the Greenwich meridian and the celestial meridian of the G first point of Aries. Alright, so I will I'm just deleting the rest of these lines because otherwise this uh, diagram will get very complicated for you guys. There will be too many lines and you will get uh, confused. So I just drew those lines to explain how I measure these angles. Otherwise, you will get com confused. Alright, so this is your first point of Aries. That is your GHA. So my black line is or black uh, arc is GHA Aries. I have measured it westwards. What else is given to me? Longitude is given to me of 35 degrees west. Right? So 35 degrees west is my longitude. So again, west is on my left hand side. So what I will do is I will draw my longitude on the west side of the Greenwich Meridian. So somewhere here. This is me as an observer. So this is observer. And this blue arrow. This is my longitude. The blue arc is my longitude. The black arc is GHA Aries. All right. So the longitude is 35 degrees west. All right. Let's draw something else now. So what else is given to me? Uh, the LHA is given. LHA is 335. So LHA is given as 335 degrees. Now what is LHA? LHA is measured westward. Again going westward. In this direction here from the observer's meridian all the way to the meridian of the celestial body all right so somewhere here will be my moon so it's a crescent crescent shaped moon so this is the moon so how did i know that it is here now remember uh, this is 335 degrees the red arc is lha lha is 335 that means just 25 degrees short of 360 so that is why i know that if if my blue arc if my blue arc is 35 degrees right my blue arc is 35 degrees so let me just write it here 
blue arc is 35 degrees because that's the longitude right so my red arc is uh, going to be on so when i'm drawing 335 degrees 335 lha is 335 degrees remember that it will be very close to me as an observer because it's almost 360 degrees right so that is why i have drawn it here so this is measured westward this is measured westward my lh is measured westward from the observer meridian to the meridian passing through the celestial body in this case it's the moon so lha moon is 335 degrees All right now what do i have to find out let's go in stages so my lha is 335 degrees my longitude is 35 degrees west now what is the relationship between gha longitude and lha well longitude west gha is the best that means if your longitude is west gha will be more than lha and if longitude east gha is least that means gha will be less than lha so here longitude is west gha is the best i will add the two so 370 degrees now what is gha gha is nothing but from greenwich meridian going westward to the celestial body this here is gha but does this look like 370 no so values can never be more than 360 that is why i will subtract this from 360 degrees and what will be my gha moon it will be 10 degrees this arc here is 10 degrees as well i can see it all right so this arc here is 10 degrees i am observer who is 35 degrees from greenwich meridian so if i can draw another arc here i will not use blue i will probably use uh, green now so this here will be 25 degrees because i am 35 degrees from greenwich so 25 plus 10 is 35 degrees which is the blue arc here blue arc is 35 degrees right so the blue arc is 35 degrees remember that all right so now i have got my gha moon as 10 degrees now what is my gha aries my gha aries is given to me as 263 degrees and what do i have to find out sha moon now what is sha moon sha moon sha moon is which angle here now can i have some other colors maybe i will use uh, this color here all right so sha moon is from aries from aries going westward all the way to the moon here this here this purple arc is sh sha moon now forget about it mathematically if you look at the arc itself how do you think you can find out the value right now i will just use my common sense look at the blue black arc here the black arc is going from greenwich to aries and that value of that was 263 degrees correct right 263 now if i join this here this value here this will be 360 minus 263 which is what 97 degrees right correct because one full circle is 360 so from greenwich to aries is 263 and if i now complete the circle this dotted this dotted purple line is 97 degrees because 263 plus 97 is 360 am i correct now if i take this dotted purple line and i add the 10 degrees here the dotted purple line plus the 10 degrees isn't it the sha moon look at it dotted purple line 97 degrees plus 10 degrees isn't it sha correct so 97 plus 10 what does it give me 107 degrees so i already know my sha is 97 plus 10 107 degrees i can find it from the diagram itself right mathematically my gha aries if you want you can subtract your gha aries so you can do it mathematically as well 
I have done the same here. So 263 is your GH Aries and then you can find out how much is the SHA moon. You can find out the SHA, SHA moon by subtracting your GHA moon. So look at your GHA moon. GHA moon minus your GHA Aries. So what will I do is just add 360 to it. Make it a bigger number again and you will get 107 degrees. But for me, I find it better to look at the diagram and find out the value. So for me, I looked at the dotted purple line was 97. I knew that the yellow arc is 10 degrees. I know that the dotted purple line plus the yellow arc gives me the SHA moon. SHA moon is westward measured first point of Aries to the celestial meridian passing through the moon. So see, my idea will be always to draw the diagram and get the values conceptually rather than trying to get into rule of thumbs or relationships or mathematics and all that so if i draw the diagram so you can draw multiple diagrams just to keep the picture clearer maybe you you think there are too many arrows here too many arcs it's very confusing but if you watch it carefully if you know the relationship between each of these values and you know the definition it's easier to find the answer from the diagram rather than trying to get into the mathematical relationship between these concepts so guys, let me know what you thought about this video. Maybe you, some of you will find it confusing. But what I'll do is I'll keep making videos on this topic so that the more number of examples you watch, the easier it is for you to understand the relationship between these concepts. I try to use uh, different colored pens so that you get the relationship, but I don't know how effective it is. I'm trying my best here, but I look forward to your feedback and comments. Bye for now. and all.